Hi guys! Welcome back to Coding Commanders. I'm Commander Candy and today I'm going to show you some basic Linux commands. That way you'll be able to navigate through your new environment without any problems so you can concentrate on writing code. You may find it helpful to follow along with my written lesson. There you will find written out instructions for all of today's definitions and commands. There is also a homework assignment at the end allowing you to test your lesson comprehension. I'll link the page in the description below. Okay, before I dive into the Linux commands, I want to start off giving you some basic definitions to make sure you're able to fully understand the commands I'm teaching you and what their function is. So what we're going to start with is directory. A directory is kind of like a folder in Windows or OS X. It's used to organize files, kind of like, you know, on your computer, you probably have folders for maybe like the C drive, for um, your desktop. You also probably have somewhere like a downloads folder, a pictures folder, a video folder. Each directory, it can contain files and also other directories. The directory within that directory is a subdirectory. So if in your pictures directory, you have a directory called Disneyland, then Disneyland would be a subdirectory of pictures. Home directory, we're going home, baby. Your home directory is the default user's directory that was assigned when you first set up your user account, okay? Each user automatically gets access to a home directory. As we go through what we're talking about, like, different users and the user's home directories and permissions and all this kind of stuff. I think it makes more sense if you remember Linux and other Unix family operating systems are intended for multiple users. Think about a business. There's going to be multiple employees. Each employee is going to get their own home directory for their own personal files and then they might also be given permission to access other directories so there might be times that you're going to have to go ahead and give yourself permission to access a directory like we're going to do next video. What is root? Okay, this is a big one, guys. I think that like when people first start off with Linux, root can be confusing because there's different things that people refer to as root. So if you're learning concepts for the first time and there's you know, several different ones and somebody's calling the same thing, it can be a little bit confusing. So I want to go through the basic roots. <laughs> okay, the root user. The root user, who's also called a super user or root, is the first user that was created by default before you set up your username and password. There's, there's root there, okay? Root is almighty and powerful. He has access to everything and anything. With great power comes great responsibility. You do not want to log in as root. You want to log in as your username. The reason why, you can do severe irreversible damage playing around in root, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Even experts don't like to log in as root. Root users directory. The root user's directory is the home directory assigned to the root user. It's called sometimes root or root directory. Root directory, also sometimes called file root or root. <laughs> That's the top directory in the directory tree. Okay, so let's look at the directory tree. Here's a tree and it all starts at root. In my next video, when we delete the Apache default page, we're going into root. That's right, baby. Next video, we're going into root. So, root is where it all starts. Out from root comes more directories. Inside those directories, there might be files and there might also be more directories. And so on and so on file or directory location. I just wrote file location on the slide, but it's file or directory depending on what you're trying to access. 
you're going to have to tell where you want to go, right? So I have a lesson on links and file path HTML tutorial, but it's written out the same way. It's the same general rules. There's a link to that in my video description and also on my written out lesson. But um, the one thing that is not going to be covered in the HTML lesson that you're going to need to know is going back to root. When you go back to root, you are going to start with a slash. Look at my example here. Slash bar slash www. That means inside our root directory, there is a directory named var. Inside that var directory, there's a directory named www. And www, that's our desired location. IP address, okay, an IP address is a number that identifies your computer, whether it's a virtual computer, like we set up with VirtualBox and Ubuntu, or an actual physical device. When you connect to the internet or a private network, the IP address is gonna be assigned to you. Okay, so now you guys are ready to power up your virtual boxes. Right, make sure that lamp or whatever you named your image is highlighted in blue. Go ahead, press the start button. Okay, so you guys ready to get inside my box and learn some Linux commands? The first command we're gonna learn is list, ls. Okay, so when I, we press list, we can see that there's a file called index.html and that there's also a directory called projects. So list is used to view files and directories that are in our current directory, maybe, or maybe you're looking wider. Maybe we just want to see what's in that directory project. So we can do ls space projects, and then we can see inside the directory called projects, we have a file called cherry.php. Now let's go ahead and make a directory. The way you'll make a directory is by typing M K D I R. And then let's call this directory projects. Now let's LS. Boom, there it is. Now what if we want to switch to that directory? What if we want to go inside our projects directory? Okay, CD is what we're gonna to use to change directories space projects. Okay, now we're in the projects directory. And now I created a file, so when we ls, now we can see cherries. Also, cd, if you press cd with nothing after it, that's going to take you on back home, right? Back to our home directory. Let's now, say we want to just delete cherry.php. How are we going to do that? Okay, we're going to type rm space projects because we're in the home directory now we could cd to the projects directory or we could just say projects slash cherry dot php boom manual that's a good one okay next let's do manual what manual is going to do is it's going to give you like the manual information for any command so let's manual ls okay so it's going to give you uh, a description of what it does. It's also going to give you a list of arguments you might use with it. We're not going to get too much into that today. We will on another day. And so that's there. And then press Q to leave this page. I have config. Okay. I have config is very important. And then actually in my, I'm going to, my very next video, I'm going to show you if you're following along with my web development tutorials, how to go to Apache, give yourself permission to get into that directory delete the apache default page and that way you will be able to view your projects in your web browser so when we're doing that and with the way that you view your projects in the web browsers you're going to put your ip address up there like the web address the way you get your ip address is ifconfig get used to that one you're going to want to be doing some ifconfig in okay so and then if you look um, the first one, that ENP0S3, 
If you look where it says uh, on the second line, it says I-N-E-T space A-D-D-R colon, and then there's a number, 192.168.1.87. That would be if I was going to go run my code in my web browser, that is the IP address I would type in my web browser in order to do so. Since there's multiple options. But um, then you can just try the different ones, see what's up. Okay, what are we gonna do next? Okay, let's do shut down now. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna shut down. If you just type shut down and you don't type shut down now, it's okay. It's just gonna take 60 seconds till it shuts down. If you type shut down space now, your box is gonna power down right away okay shut down now oh before i go i want to show you one more thing okay then also if you go and you look at your up arrow it's going to go through all the commands that you um typed so if you've been following along typing and you go up there should be some ifconfig some ls some directory making that's useful if like say um Say you typed a command and you typed it wrong, you gotta type it again, but you can press up to get it there and then go ahead and edit it. Or maybe there's a command you're using a lot. It's helpful to be able to use the up arrow key in order to go through your command. Okay, now let's shut down our box. I'm gonna type shut down space now. Boom! I'm shutting. I'm chatting. So that was our video today. Thank you for watching. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to give yourself permission into the Apache directory. Delete that file. You can start viewing your files um, in your web browser. And then the very next one is going to be an introduction to buy. That's the first text editor I'll show you. It's already there. A lot of the old school PHP guys use by and in our intro to buy we will also be making our first um, PHP file hello world so excited to start PHP in so I'm gonna start live streaming in about two weeks when my son goes back to school once a week I'll have a live stream where you can come ask me questions say hi <laughs> and I want to know would you rather I do live stream on YouTube or Twitch. If you comment below and let me know, you'll be entered in a contest once a week. I'll be giving away a free Coding Commanders t-shirt. So make sure to comment and let me know if you'd rather see me live stream on Twitch or on YouTube. Also, if you have any questions at all, comment below. This is a brand new channel. I'm not getting thousands and thousands of comments now, so I should be able to get back to you. If you have any questions, if you're having any trouble with any of the install setup, anything, comment below. Thank you again for watching, and until next time, happy coding!